Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Inside of today's video, we're going to be doing a full breakdown of Brawl Talk. We're also going to look at some balance changes that you might have missed out on on first glance. So straight away, this Brawl Talk is absolutely fire. They've done an amazing job and also drew joining the team as well. Free community managers. It's going to be pretty hype going forward. Uh, but yeah, also make sure to subscribe if you're not already because with the update cycle, giving you guys the best sneak peeks to do with a meta, breakdowns of hypercharges, and of course, all the balance changes to come. So make sure to subscribe if you're not already. So let's start off with the mutations event. So mutations is a limited time event uh, which is, of course, with this Godzilla event going on. And the way you get mutations is through these little eggs, whether you can get them with your uh, kind of daily star drops as well. You can unlock them through the Godzilla event. So I'm not too sure on the frequency, but once I get more details, again, I'll let you guys know through uh, sneak peeks. But it, it, it depends how kind of frequent you get these uh, mutations, because the one thing that I'll say straight away might be frustrating if you're having to unlock these mutations and say it's going to take you weeks to get the best mutation out there. It might be frustrating, especially if you can uh, where well, mutations are for trophies, which I think they are. It looks like it from Brutal Talk. Then, yeah, that might be frustrating. But anyways, let's actually have a look at the mutations. They are pretty fun. So the first one is with Hank. Of course, when I seen this, I fell off my chair. I felt like they literally added this mutation for me. So literally with hank every time he takes damage there's just milk everywhere his super i don't even know what they're called but they just fly everywhere <laughs> like i said it's just gonna be milk everywhere it looks hilarious hank actually might be the best brother for this mutation it looks crazy especially with how much hp hank has imagine the amount of supers are just gonna fly everywhere you're not gonna touch him it looks hilarious uh the next one i saw was grom his uh super gets much bigger and has more projectiles within his super and also he has a faster supercharge and then spike looks like he has many more projectiles i don't know how many spikes there are i couldn't be bothered to count the amount of projectiles because i'm pretty sick at the minute i haven't got the brain capacity to count them but it looks like there's a lot there's a lot of spikes so i think that be, could be pretty cool so in terms of the mutations themselves it looks like they affects the main attack it affects the supers or the brawlers it affects even just i don't know literally affects them taking damage as well that could be the same with other tanks as well i think it'll be pretty fun it's not going to be a balanced game mode at all so just take that out of consideration not everything has to be balanced not everything has to be esports which i say that as a former pro myself i think it'll be really fun i think this will be one of the most fun events that brawl stars have ever had I, I'm, I'm very optimistic about this also it's a limited event and it's on ladder so it's pretty cool again it might be for trophies it's not going to take every single slot within their ladder rotation but it's going to take the majority of them i'm excited to try this one out it's going to add like a breath of fresh air to ladder we'll be moving on to the two new brawlers starting off with the first mythic brawler which is called lily so lily is an ambusher essentially with her super she can teleport behind people and take them down with some quick stabs so the way lily works is that she just shoots like a little stab projectile again she's like an ambusher just think of like a goblin in uh, clash royale she's kind of got those mechanics behind her so very limited in range but i think she's going to be very deadly so let's break down her stats with her total hp she has 8400 so this is exactly the same as melody and a little bit less than brawlers like fang so she's definitely on the tankier side although she's got very limited range she's essentially a tank or just below what you would kind of say a tank is in terms of her damage she deals 2400 damage which is exactly the same as doug and very close to brawlers like surge of course she's not going to have the unload potential of those brawlers because she has to wait for her ammo to reload so it's very similar to brawlers like carl and charlie i wonder if the spam potential is going to be there probably it is to be fair but again very limited range and it looks like her attack is a little bit weird in terms of how she works then she her mechanic is that she has an automatic charging circle so exactly like brawlers like cordelia's buzz very similar to cordelia's so because of the very limited range i think it's gonna the play style is gonna be very similar in my opinion in terms of the super it teleports you behind a brawler so the reason why this is so good is because it deals 2000 damage upon impact and then it looks like i don't know whether it's a star power or just mechanic but 1.5 times damage of the main attack which is 3600 when you actually teleport onto someone so if you think about 2000 damage plus 3600 that's 5600 damage in a combo which people People won't be able to counter that's pretty much instantly so you can one shot brawlers like grom Stu, rico which will be insane you can just deal so much damage it will literally cut the brawlers hp in half 
literally if it's the tankiest brawlers in the game. So I think this is going to be really strong. Of course, that being 8,400 HP as well. That's going to be super strong. So in terms of a super as well, from the clips that I've seen in Brutal Talk, it looks like the only way that you can teleport is by hitting someone. Again, I could be wrong, but the clips they use normally just tell the story. I think it would be very toxic if you could just throw your super anyway, anywhere and just teleport there. So I'm assuming you have to hit it. I'm not too sure how hard it's going to be to hit. I'm hoping it is like it's in the middle i'm hoping it's not too easy but i'm hoping it's not too difficult because you don't want the same problems of which willow face but in terms of how strong lily i think she's going to be i think she'll be close to the s tier it depends on how strong her gadgets and star powers will be overall i think that can really dictate this ruler because she has very limited range i think that could definitely be a big weakness to her but if her gadgets and star powers are good i think she'll be easily s tier now we're moving on to the other brawler joining us with the update and that is draco draco looks so cool like wait to play him he's a legendary brawler which is a little bit unheard of typically brawl stars release like one legendary brawler it's normally towards the end of the year but hey i'm not complaining he looks so fun to play so in terms of his hp he has 12,600 hp the second highest only frank is higher in hp very similar to brawlers like primo so he's going to be insanely tanky in terms of his main attack then so it looks like it's just a spear it's got a bit better range than lily but it looks like well if that he did literally say in a brawl talk on the tip it deals more damage so that's 2400 damage but not on the tip that's 1200 damage so there's a little bit of skill cap there it's not like normal tanks where you could just brainlessly tap the auto aim button it's going to be a way that you can kind of juke around keep at the tip keep out of distance of the opponents i think i really like that how they've added that skill cap with the tanks in terms of other mechanics as well, it looks like once the red bar fills up, he leaves a mark on brawlers just like Bell. So if you're unsure what Bell's mark does, I think it's like an extra 20% damage that you deal to the opponents, which is going to be really good, especially because Draco doesn't actually deal that much damage. You know, 1,200 damage is pretty weak so getting that amplified damage is going to be really good and help him in the interactions i'm not too sure if that's a star power or just his mechanics overall but i really like it i think it's pretty cool also his main attack actually pierces so in one of the clips it was like he pierced through two enemies and marked both of them so that could be pretty cool there's some definitely good plays in that he also has the tank trait so that means that whenever he takes damage he will get supercharged from that so it looks like that's going to be really strong for him because he has one of the highest hp in the game so of course you think of frank he gets supers a lot from this tank trait. In terms of Draco's super, whenever he uses his super, he has a flamethrower that deals really good damage. So this looks really good because he gets an increased movement speed. He gets a damage reduction as well. And it looks like he has unlimited ammo. It looks insane. Of course, that could be overreacting here. Doesn't look like it completely rips through brawlers, but at the same time, it looks pretty good. So again, if I was to have to put this brawler into a tier i'd have to say s tier i know people would say i'm overreacting but these brawlers look really strong of course they want to release brawlers on the strong side and by the looks of things in brawl talk they both look pretty strong both look really fun though but both look strong. So now we're going to be moving on to the six new hyperchargers. I'll be testing them out as soon as possible and giving you guys a ranking on them. But for now, this is just my first kind of instincts on whether they're going to be strong or not. So with Brock, he fires a lot more rockets. They look strong, but only 500 damage per rocket. I know it looks insane. The visual effect on it looks absolutely crazy. I can only imagine that it's just going to rip through people. Again, it could be overreacting. It doesn't look like it's going to like completely delete brawlers, but it just looks like you're literally dropping a nuke on the opponent. So I think it's going to be very fun. At least it's not as boring as some of the hype charges like Sprout, for example. Next, we have Sandy's. So Sandy's is everybody's gets a movement speed buff. And you also silence the opponent upon impact of your super. So just think of like an Otis Mute or Cordelius Gadget, for example. As soon as you throw your super onto someone, it's going to mute them, which is just going to be insane. Everyone gets a movement speed. You're With a Sandy super anyway, you're gaining complete map control, but you're just going to be able to overwhelm the opponent so quickly with this. It's going to be very toxic and a very good hypercharge for sure. Next, we have Nita. So Bruce gets extra speed and extra HP with the hypercharge combined. I think this is going to be very good. I think this could be very toxic in heist. Of course, that's where you use uh, Bruce the most. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm pretty scared of this one for heist. I feel like the heist safe is just going to get ripped through even more. Next, we have Max. So in terms of Max, she throws an energy drink to each teammate. They get extra movement speed. So I'm not too sure whether you can literally pop this in spawn. And then your teammate up the top of the map will get that 
movement speed buff i think that's what it is and then they also also get their super partially charged so i think it's going to be a good one i feel like it's going to be a little bit underwhelming because essentially with max anyways you probably just use your super in and around your teammates and yeah i don't know maybe it's a little bit different in game but for me a little bit underwhelming next we have ticks so i think it's going to be the worst one out of all of them so the ticket chases opponents faster and then when it explodes it leaves six tick mines down but again i just don't really feel like it's going to be that strong like you should be able to take this down quickly anyways it doesn't have a lot of hp since the mythic gear got nerfed and the six mines I, I don't know i'll have to test it out maybe it just literally drops a nuke on you i'll have to see and the last one of course we finally got a hype charge to one of our mains it is with gene so whenever you use your hype charge super it splits into three hands and each hand can pull one enemy so essentially you could pull the whole enemy team which would be hilarious but at the same time how are you gonna kill them with gene i don't know it's a really fun mechanic i feel like it's more so that you have more chance of just pulling maybe one brawler you know especially me i miss a lot of gene pulls nowadays so this will really help me out i think it'll be really fun but i don't actually think it'll be that strong you'll have to let me know down in the comment section below so another thing i was really interested in the brawl talk is one of the new ranked modifiers so ranked modifiers have been a bit hit and miss recently and this one looks pretty weird I don't know, it looks fun, but doesn't look very competitive. So second wind, rulers respawn where they last died. So it's going to be very chaotic. I feel like this could be fun, but again, it's not very competitive. I'll have to see how this one works out. I literally looked at this and I was like, huh? So now we're going to be moving on to the balance changes, which I saw with Brutal Talk, which you guys might have missed out on. I only got to see two of them. Again, I'm pretty brain dead, so I might have missed out on a couple of more. But these are two big ones that I think you guys want to hear about for sure. So at one minute, four seconds, Spike throw out a couple of attacks and each attack dealt 1,080 damage. So going from his damage, which he's got now, 1,120, that is a 4% damage nerf. So it doesn't sound like a lot. It's not going to have the biggest impact on Spike, but it's definitely going to affect his damage output. The reason you use Spike right is for his consistent damage that he can just spam out with Curveball. It's a little bit overrated in the esports uh, kind of side of things, but for the casual play base, I think it's definitely going to affect him a little bit, but he's still going to be meta. And the second and final one that I saw in the Brutal Talk is at 4 minutes 8 seconds. Mortis attack buzz a few times and his damage was seen dealing 2000 damage per swing. So that's going to be a really big buff for Mortis. I think all the other assassins right now, they just, they're just a lot better with hypercharges and they can just close the gap much easier. So Mortis' damage getting a 6% damage buff. A lot of brothers are getting damage buffs as well that I'm a little bit scared of. But it's definitely going to help Mortis out a bit. I'm still just thinking a hypercharge would make him a lot more meta. He's still too easy to counter. But it's a nice change. Mortis mains are definitely going to be eating with this one. So that's going to be it for today's video. Let me know what you think of the Brew Talk. I thought this was a fire Brew Talk. I would say easily like 9 out of 10 easily for this Brew Talk. I'm so excited for this update. Let me know what things you want to see with uh, sneak peeks and everything else. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.